the passengers who are coming from uh, It is said that she was walking on the road when she was hit uh, by Umesh Kathi's uh, wife's car. Uh, in fact, Sheila immediately rushed Pushpa to the hospital. However, it was a little too late for her baby. She was six months pregnant and uh, this incident took place on Friday. And now several days later, Pushpa passed away considering the grievous injuries that she had suffered. In fact, Umesh Kathi's wife, Sheila, had personally rushed Pushpa to the hospital, but to no avail. Uh, Pushpa was six months pregnant. She lost her baby immediately. She suffered a miscarriage. And uh, now, after a couple of days, she passed away due to the injuries that she suffered. The family, of course, is inconsolable. It was a happy time for the family as Pushpa uh, was almost six months pregnant. But unfortunately, she passed away in a car accident. <laughs> Screens is Sheila Umesh Kathi's wife. Uh, she was in the car when the incident took place, uh, but uh, uh, fortunately, of course, in this case, Sheila did not run but instead uh, ensured that she rushed Pushpa to the hospital. Unfortunately, of course, it was a little too late, and uh, the injuries uh, that Pushpa had suffered were grievous. So, while she was rushed to the hospital, she suffered a miscarriage, and soon after, uh, while this incident took place on Friday, today she passed away. Well, voting is underway in 64 seats across seven states in the penultimate round of the Lok Sabha elections. Well, the Congress definitely appears to have an uphill task to perform, with the whole of Simandra and parts of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal casting their vote. These are six of the seven states going to polls and as you can see, there are a huge number of people have gathered. It has been about three hours into polling and already a lot of them turning up in Simantra. Of course, uh, it is between largely the YSRCP and the TDP. And uh, while it is being termed as Naidu's last general election, if he loses for YSRCP, Jagan Mohan Reddy is hoping uh, to sway the crowds in his favor. Besides that, parts of Uttar Pradesh also going into polls and the all significant and important Ameti constituency is also voting today and while it is considered largely as the Gandhi bastion there's a lot of talk about the kind of stiff competition that Rahul Gandhi has this time around in West Bengal parts of uh, the state are going to polls uh, such as the Sasaram constituency Asansol Saran all key constituencies that are seeing some big fights ahead and parts of Bihar as well are going to polls and we will have to wait and watch to see how things turn out in in Bihar, in Jammu and Kashmir, uh, going ahead and battling uh, the kind of uh, insurgency that we've been looking at and violence, they have come out in large numbers to go ahead and cast their vote. And it is the same case in their Radun, where several people have come together. So in all, uh, all the states going to polls. And uh, of course, it looks like the turnout so far is encouraging. And down south, of course, all eyes will be on Simandra. The politics here has been interesting to say in the least. And keeping in mind the sentiment going around with regards to the bifurcation of the people of Simandra worried about their future. It looks like there's been a lot of anger spilling out onto the streets and a lot of politics playing out. And on election day, on polling day as well, we have seen quite a bit of violence, especially in Kadappa district. We understand that groups of TDP workers 
as well as vice RCP workers clashed outside a polling booth. And uh, as you can see, it was a scuffle of sorts which started as an argument turned out into a fully blown fight. And finally, all the chaos ended when one of the TDP candidates gunmen fired his gun in the air and finally uh, it looks like people came to their senses and things came to a standstill. In fact, uh, there was Bilota Gyalor at uh, the Jamalamadagu constituency of Katapa district. A minor argument broke out between a TDP polling agent and a YSR CP agent. The YSR CP workers uh, attacked the TDP agent. It is understood that a TDP candidate Rama Subha Reddy is a gunman fired in the air to put an end to the violence. Voting is underway again after the altercation. That was not all. It looks like Kadapa witnessed quite some chaos as there was rockers in Kadapa's Maidakuru constituency as well. The supporters of YSRCP's Raghuram Reddy smashed the windows of TDP candidate's car. So as you can see, there, uh, the, uh, the car was pretty badly damaged. It is understood that they used stones uh, to break the windshield as well as the window panes uh, of this particular car. Uh, in fact, uh, it is understood uh, that YSRCP workers had in fact uh, conducted this misdeed. This was a TDP candidate's car and uh, YSRCP supporters uh, in fact uh, of uh, Rakatam Reddy went ahead and uh, uh, did this act. And it uh, looks like Kadapa is witnessing quite some heat. It's not just the summer, but the election heat that seems to have gotten to a lot of these villages. Of course, the district is known uh, to be very politically active. Uh, they are very sound in their political knowledge and also uh, take sides uh, with regards to the politics and stick to the sides very strongly. And uh, with these incidents, uh, that is once again highlighted polling day turning quite chaotic in Kadapa as two incidents have come to light where YSRCP and TDP's enmity was there for all to see. And well, APCC President uh, N. Raghuvira Reddy certainly caught the eye of the voters as well as the cameras. He arrived on a bullock cart to cast his vote in Anandpur constituency. <laughs> Raghuvi Reddy, there, a unique entry being made uh, by uh, the Congress leader, who was seen arriving along with his family members on a bullock cart. Uh, maybe a way to go ahead and connect with the local voters. But uh, the question is whether this particular antic was a little too late. But Raghuvi Reddy was seen riding the bullock cart himself and was all smiles for the people. Uh, he is, of course, uh, the APCC president, uh, and uh, there is no question that it is a very important day for him. Now, while he is uh, uh, an MLA and, of course, a district leader out there, uh, the question is, will he manage to maintain his lead, uh, keeping in mind that uh, the Congress is facing some huge uh, hatred from uh, the people of Simandra, considering the, not just uh, the fact that the, it, there's an anti compensy wave, but also, of course, uh, the bifurcation decision. But uh, as you can see there, Raghavir Reddy, along with his family members, they all arrived on a bullock cart and soon after went ahead and cast their vote in Anandpur constituency. <laughs> Now, 
General First Voter of Independent India SS Negi cast his vote with his wife at Kalpa Police uh, polling station in Himachal Pradesh. Well, at 97, Independent India's first voter SS Negi cast his vote along with his wife in Himachal Pradesh. Since the first time he voted, he has never missed an election. So he's covered all 15 Lok Sabha elections. And today as well, he came out and cast his vote. इससे बढ़कर और मानता क्या हो सकता है इस कदर अब मेरी मानता हो हुई है इसका मैं हार्दिक धन्यवाद करता हूँ आगे जनता पार्टी की आकर के आए तो ठीक रहेगा इतना ऊपर ए ऊपर पाते हुए भी लुट खुदाते हुए मैं आकर के वो अपना कर्तव्य निभा रहा हूँ गोर दे के जा रहा हूँ सब मतदाताओं से मेरी दुआ है कि कोई मतदाता खाली ना रहे सब आकर के अपना मतदान यहाँ अदा करें इनकी सूरत काफी हो गई हम भी देखना चाहते हैं कि इनकी सूरत हमारे भारत में कितनी हमारे इलाके में कितना असफल होता है या असफल पहुंचाते हैं या फायदा पहुंचाते हैं किसकी बात कर रहे हैं अटल मोदी की भी बात कर रहा हूँ मैं आप उनको प्रधानमंत्री बनता देखना चाहते हैं